What's going on YouTube? So um so in this uh, in this video today I'll show you how to set out a center line of a road. So if we just look at the main engineering layout from last time, I'm just gonna focus on this section of the site and it's these three roads here, which is road five, road six, and road six TH. So I'll show you how to plot plot out or draw the center line in CAD for road five, which will start up here, come down here, road six, which will come up here and loop round like here and road 6 th which is here so um, if we just go to the road setting out sheet 1 which is here we only usually ever get information for the centre line but most of the time we want to set out to a curb line at known changes so the information we get is a start point and usually every five meter changes, so it's easier. So this is change ten. So all we get is the center line information, which we really want the curb setting out, and we also want where the profile is going to go for the earthworks. So the easiest way to find this information, so change twenty, if we wanted to get this point here, change twenty left at the face of curb, is we'd set this out in CAD or draw it out in CAD, then offset this half of a road width which would be 2.75 offset this out and export the squad out to our machine ready to set out and it's just uh, another meter offset for the profile so it's just uh, so the question is just how to set this out in CAD and really the way our information comes to us is usually if we just go to road setting out 2 here is usually like this so if we go to road 5 it just tells us the start point change zero obviously then easting and northern I and mean, then it gives us it every five meters but all, the only information we need to actually draw this is the start point the tangent points and the end point so to actually start drawing this we just go into our CAD model which we tidied up last time and we just put put the start points in the tangent points and the end point and then draw that as a polyline straight through and that's what I'm going to show you today so what we need to do that is these four so for, for road five all we need is start point tangent points and end point so there's two ways of putting these points into a model first way is just to type point and then type in the eastern and northern say there so you type in eastern and northern and it'll show a point up but but I prefer to do it in Excel, I just think it's a bit quicker, easier to check as well. So I've already made an Excel sheet for road 5. So I'll just show you that next to this. So all I've done is just gone road 5, typed in the eastern, typed in the northern, and done it for start point, first tangent point, second tangent point, and the end point. And to put these into CAD, you just need to know this command. Just type in equals con, and it's just this um, this command here. So you double click that. Text one, which is easting. Then it's comma quotation mark comma quotation mark comma. Then it says select text three. Select the northing. Enter. So if you see, it's just easting comma norving and this is a format used to put it into CAD so then just drag that all the way down I'll do it for all of them now delete these two out delete them two out so I'll just focus on road 5 at the moment and um, I just select that control C which is copy and back into the model to put it into the model nice and quickly just go to this draw click that multiple points click that and then I just go to the command line here control V and paste it and these points have shown up in here so that's your start point your first tangent point second tangent point and end point so this is where the second bit that I highlighted comes into it as you can see the tangent points 
have a radius point which is 52.750 this is how much it curves around by so to draw this just go to circle make sure it's selected on radius and uh, go to your snap it will unselect everything apart from node go on there it was 52.750 I'll just check that Yep, 52.750. Draw a circle there. Repeat circle at this tangent point. 52.750. And uh, you just see which way it's curving. So it's curving around this way. And where these circles intersect, so I'll have to turn intersection on on this. And then I just type in 52.750. Enter. And then I delete the first two original circles as you can see it strikes through the centre of this point and the centre of this point and now it's just a matter of connecting these up so I've got polyline this point to that point enter repeat polyline that point to that point enter so now we just need to trim this circle down Go trim, trim to that line, trim to that line, enter, take that circle off, and it's done the same for that side, enter. So that's looking like our centre line at the moment, but we just need to join it all up. To join it all up, just go head it. No, it's a head it multiple M, um, and select all the all the separate polylines. So one there, one there, one there, enter. Convert lines, yes. Join. And a fuzz distance, just keep it zero for now. So saying zero has been added to polyline. I'll just, I'll just see if it's done it. Need to be a check. No, it hasn't done it. So that might just be because there's a small gap of maybe less than a millimetre between these two points. So as you can see it overlaps ever so slightly here. So what I'd usually do there is I'd just pull that back to the to the node. Make sure that one's on the node. Just make sure that's snapping to the node. So you can see it's this one that's overlapping slightly. Make sure that's on the node. And try to ped it again. Ped it. Multiple. Select that one. Two. Three. Join. Position zero. Let's see if it's done it. And yep, it's done it there. That's your new centre line. So what I like to do now is I just like to make a new layer. New layer. I'll just call it centerline road road five. I made that current. And you just like to change this layer over centerline road five. I'll just make it stand out a bit more. While I'm here, I'm just going to delete the drainage off because we don't really need it. All interesting is the road for now. So yeah, so that's your set line. So to offset it, it's just simple as offset. We know which road's five and a half meters. So if we want the face of curb, we offset it by 2.75, which is half of five and a half. And um, if we wanted to offset it for profiles, we just add a meter on, or however far your offsets want to be. But we usually do a meter, so it's 3.750. Offset that there, offset that there, and um, that's how you do that. And what I usually like to add in is just 
a bit more colour and I always like to add in every 5 metre intervals for chainage and to do that it's just measure select the object to measure so it's the centre line and segment length I usually say 5 metres so that's change 5, change 10, change 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40 and we'll just see what roughly the end point is so 43.7 and we'll just check if that's sounding about right yeah 43.708 so it's looking about right and if you want to double check some of these, so if you want to double check what chain is 40 is this is what it's showing on the setting out information so you just go to go to this point, ID it click on it and compare that 0.573 with 6864 so yeah it's, it's, it's worked out it's all looking right and then you just repeat that for the other roads so I'll just do it quickly for road 6 as I set up a new layer I'll go to 0 for the to put the points in I'll go back to Excel sheet copy these points over, copy Draw multiple points, paste. Sometimes it's handy to just have it as a split screen, so I usually go like that. Open up the setting out information too. So now I want to road six. Put that down there. So these are points I've entered. So right, so this is getting a bit confusing. So I'll just change the colour of these over. Properties, make them white. So we know that's the start point. So draw a polyline from the start node to that one. That's the tangent point. So at this point here, so this tangent point has a radius of 82.750. So we go to draw circle radius click on radius there 82.750 repeat again here repeat circle 82.750 so roads curving round that way so we want to circle from here repeat circle 82.750 or enter delete these two off That's connected them to up there. At 82.750, it's just a straight line from this point to this point. So polyline straight to there, and then it's another radius one to TP2A now, and that one's 10.750. Good. Draw circle again. 10.750. Circle, enter, peak circle, intersection, 